of Malaysia. This is airtime with Ronnie Classic. I'm now in Kuching, Sarawak, where the entire state will go in for the 11th Sarawak state elections. The Sarawak State Assembly was dissolved on the uh, early April. Nominations for the Sarawak state elections will be on the 25th of April and polling will be on the 7th of May. With me today is Sarawak's PKR chief, assemblyman for Bakalara, and uh, we are privileged today to have Yang Bohorman, Saudara Barobian, and uh, we are here to get an insight from YB Baru as to the preparations of uh, PKR's uh, elections and uh, hopefully uh, YB Baru will be able to share with us the preparations for PKR as well as what are the hopes and the aspirations of Parti Kandilan Raya in Sarawak. Welcome to the show uh, YB Baru. Thank you for this privilege of uh, being with you. Um, let us start off uh, YB in terms of uh, the preparations of uh, the Sarawak state elections. Now, uh, PKR is going into the state elections with 40 seats. Uh, how do you rate PKR's chances in the 11 state elections? Yes, we are prepared, very prepared, in fact, in the uh, uh, 40 seats that we have identified uh, at the moment. Um, in fact, we, uh, for the first time, uh, PKR Sarawak had introduced what we call the KPI uh, for challenge uh, in preparation for uh, uh, a state election. And I think it's the first time, and in fact, uh, it has been very stringent. Uh, we uh, ask uh, all candidates, including myself, to make reports to the uh, state election uh, committee, we call it the, the, the GPRN, and uh, uh, even uh, chart your plan, chart your campaign on the ground, and uh, this has been ongoing for the last one and a half years. Mm. Uh, so with that, uh, uh, we really hope that uh, all these 40 candidates that have been identified, these 40 seats would be uh, well prepared for this election. Mm. Uh, I think the question is really, how well are you prepared? Mm. Uh, so I tell them, in fact, really that uh, uh, we do our best. Uh, uh, definitely, we are much uh, uh, different from uh, when we were in 2011, uh, we, we went in as well as a PKR. Uh, but I, I believe that uh, we are uh, uh, in a very different category now in, uh, in a situation. Uh, but of course, uh, at the same time, we do recognize that uh, we have a different minister. Mm. So that is the other factor that, uh, of course, we are going against. And uh, uh, at the end of the day, I think uh, 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 it's a question of bringing your message to the ground and, and be understood. Mm. And uh, in, 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 in that sense, I think uh, uh, we can say that uh, well, we are uh, reasonably prepared mm. uh, for this SGE 11. Okay, now basically you are moving in the state elections as a, a single entity, right, which is called uh, Pakatan Harapan. Yes, uh, you have uh, PKR, you have KAP, and of course uh, Amana. Right. Uh, how do you gauge the strength of DAP and Amana as your uh, coalition partners in this election as well? What is their strength like? Uh, at the end of the day, uh, uh, it's my belief uh, that um, uh, people would gauge our uh, strength really on your uh, platform, your, your manifesto. Mm. Uh, what uh, uh, are your policies that you offer the people? Mm. Uh, that is one. And of course, the second aspect of it, I believe would be the, uh, the, the oneness, the unity, the, the understanding mm. of this coalition uh, and the prospect of uh, uh, winning uh, in an election. Uh, so if we were to look at the uh, manifestos, the policies that we have at the moment, uh, uh, yes, in 2011 we have our joint uh, manifesto, we have 2013 joint manifesto, and uh, 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 now we have uh, 
uh, our own manifesto, which is also a reflection of what we had in 2011 and 2013, uh, uh, which offered the, 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 uh, the people of Sarawak a uh, very different kind of uh, uh, political uh, uh, scenario, uh, uh, a possible uh, a change in the way that you govern the state. Uh, and, and that's the, the difference that we have. And we're talking about, uh, yes, competency, accountability, and transparency. That's what we call the CAT uh, uh, issue, uh, which had been uh, implemented in the state of Penang, mm. in the state of Selangor. Mm. Uh, uh, I'm not very certain in, in Kelantan. So uh, these are the evidence of uh, uh, our success, as it were, mm. uh, which are we, what we are offering to the people of Sarawak. So, uh, in that sense, I believe that if uh, uh, this message is uh, 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 clearly uh, disseminated uh, and trickled down to the ground and be understood, mm. then uh, I believe that we have some strength in that sense. Mm. And of course, the physical uh, uh, preparation is the other uh, matter that we can uh, say. Uh, well, for the AP, uh, they have been here for quite some time, and I believe they have their own uh, structure, they have their machineries that are quite intact. Uh, perhaps it's only the, the, the Amana, which is... Uh, uh, um, rather new. Eh? Yeah, rather new, and uh, I think the, uh, they step out of, uh, of, of pass. Now, uh, uh, that has to be tested. Uh, I, I do recognize that that is a, a, a platform that yet to be tested in this coming election. And uh, well, uh, even past when they were with us, uh, it was an appeal task for them to uh, get support. Uh, but whatever it is, I think Amana, Amana's strength is that uh, they have distanced themselves from uh, uh, past and uh, uh, knowing that uh, Sarawak uh, uh, is very uh, uh, sensitive to the issue of uh, who did and, and, and those related to it. Mm. Uh, we do hope uh, uh, that uh, Amana would uh, fare very well uh, in, in, this election. in the election. election yeah. Okay, um, in the 10th state election, um, PKR was, uh, you, you basically contested in the bulk of seats in the 10th gen uh, ten state elections mm. and PKR did not fare that well. Mm -hmm. uh, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, PKR, have, you have three assembly, don't see That's three right. assembly. Uh, how certain are you that PKR would be able to perform better this round after the last five years in uh, strengthening uh, the parties and uh, the, the uh, uh, potential candidates uh, partners on the ground. How sure are you that you will be able to improve yourself? Well, we, we get back to 2011. Uh, we took the back of the seat in 2011, just purely because our partners at that time were unable to uh, uh, put any uh, challenge in the uh, left out uh, seats. Mm. Because then, like the Malay Manaus areas, nobody want to get that. Mm. And it is sure loose for them. Mm. So because of that, we don't want to uh, uh, give uh, Barca National uh, 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 well a head start mm. and give them the moral booster, as it were. Mm. So we have no choice but to cover all the other areas. And it, this is the reason why we uh, 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 stood in, in, in more than 50, Six. I think it was 49, 49 seats or 50 seats then. Okay, now, are we well prepared? Will we do better than that? Uh, uh, again, uh, we are going uh, into the rural of Sarawak. Mm. Now, DAP did very well in, in the cities, in the town, of course. Urban areas, is, yeah. Urban areas, because we have matured voters, mm. and you don't need to really uh, explain to them. They read the papers, they are learned, and in a sense, they can read. Mm. Now, we went into the rural areas of Sarawak. And uh, uh, bearing in mind, uh, Pika just came in uh, somewhere in 1989, uh, first time. And, uh, uh, and therefore, uh, uh, even then they came, uh, they were just in the town areas. And uh, by uh, uh, our group, in fact, the group that, uh, uh, that I brought in, the Dayaks and the Rangulus that came with me, uh, only after that, that we uh, moved into the uh, rural of Sarawak. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, it, it, it was really a challenge. Uh, you all know that. Uh, having been in Barcelona for the last 50 over years, mm -hmm. 
almost 50 of which, of course, in 2011. Now it's 53 years mm -hmm. for us in Sarawak. Uh, to uh, really change the mindset of the people in the rural of Sarawak. Mm -hmm. Because to them, BN is PBB. Mm -hmm. PBB is BN. Mm -hmm. Or uh, uh, the same thing with SPDP and PRA, mm -hmm. PRS. Now, that's the thing that they, they didn't understand. Mm -hmm. the, the democratic rights to, to, to have the, the option to change the government. Mm -hmm. and, and when you say change the government, you cannot, you cannot change the government. Mm -hmm. So it was a challenge for us to tell them, look, mm -hmm. you have that right under the Constitution mm -hmm. to do that once in every five years. Now, I believe that we are in much better position. And I believe that we would be able to win more than three seats. Uh, this time uh, the around. figure mm. that we won in 2011. Mm. But what about, uh, I'm sure it is also the uh, the aspirations of uh, Pakatan Harapan, you know, making up of the AP, PKR and Amana. I'm sure it's also your aspiration that you, uh, other than being able to win seats, all right, I am sure that uh, you are also, your intentions are also, if possible, uh, to overthrow the current government and take over the government, you know. So, uh, in in order to do that, you have uh, 82 new, uh, 82 seats, 11 yes, more than the previous uh, state election. Mm. Um, you would need to win at least uh, 42 seats to be able to form a simple majority That's government. Right. Uh, let's assume, uh, let's assume uh, you are able to win 42 seats. In your mind, where will be the bulk seats coming from in these 42 seats? Well, the uh, uh, seats would probably uh, come from the uh, town uh, seats, the urban seats. Which will be from DAP? Uh, probably the DAP should be able to get uh, uh, their seats. Uh, the rest of the seats would be uh, from the Rangulus and uh, the Ibans area. Mm. Malanao, Malay uh, areas, uh, that is a big challenge for us. But there are some openings. Mm. There are some potential areas uh, that we see that uh, may be won. Uh, if uh, really we are on uh, uh, equal uh, playing field as do politically. Mm. Uh, so that's our hope. Mm. Uh, of course, there will be uh, even two or three in the Bidayu areas. Mm. So uh, yes, that would be uh, probably the, the areas that we're hoping in. And, and, and uh, of course, uh, uh, the, the biggest challenge really is in the Malay, Melano areas. Mm. Yeah. Okay, YB, I want to show you a video here, um, which was basically recorded by uh, Esra Awani, and uh, you issued a statement. dan juga potensial calon kita ini you work hard because at the end of the day I think uh, this kind of seat who uh, uh, it belongs to is uh, uh, not very important we, we don't say that it's not important but it is not the main thing the main thing really is at the end of the day uh, who are you on the ground are we representing uh, uh, the aspiration of the people or not I think that is important so uh, at the moment I will not again uh, be able to comment on that, but uh, suffice to say, majority of the 40 seats are quite confirmed. Uh, I think the uh, uh, class, as you all know now, is just one or two very negligible numbers. Very short video, yeah. one minute. All right, now, uh, you mentioned in this statement that uh, out of the 40 seats uh, that uh, PKR will be going into, there are one or two negligible seats right now. Um, 36 hours ago, maybe, you were in the verge of exercising your state veto powers mm. all right, on your central leaders. All right? Firstly, on the choice of candidates. Secondly, uh, DHP has enroached all right, into five strong PKR uh, seats, all right, which rightfully belongs to PKR. Uh, and of course, the chances of winning would be much better. Mm. Right, uh, which DAP has enroached in. Now, yesterday in a reverse statement, you stated as what the video suggested just now, 
uh, there are only one or two seats. Now, what actually transpired in the last 32, 36 hours for you to make that reverse turn? Uh, it's it's not uh, in a sense it is not a reverse turn. I think uh, when I say one or two, uh, I'm just mentioning the fact that there'll be just few seats mm. that's still overlapping. Yeah, because you were uh, quite specific earlier when you mentioned yeah, five. Yeah, that that was proposed by the uh, uh, reporters when I mentally calculated it, it's around five seats. Mm. In fact, uh, really, uh, uh, on paper, if mm. I have six, I just found out that it oh. was about six. An okay. additional one seat. Okay. Correct. Mm. Uh, but whatever it, it was uh, uh, a question of uh, uh, really, uh, there are few seats in, in the sense that uh, every time they ask me, I said, it is around five or so uh, seats. Mm. So uh, the, it is, when the statement that you recorded in Awani, uh, when I mentioned one or three uh, two sets. Mm. Uh, in fact, it is the same uh, uh, figures that I'm referring to, mm. uh, because there was uh, no actual uh, uh, development. Uh, so it was mm. in the last 24 hours, in mm. a sense. Mm. Uh, although we are very aware. Mm. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, even uh, uh, up to the evening, uh, there was some attempt, of course, mm. uh, on uh, even from our national leaders to. Uh, 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 get in touch with uh, uh, the DAP leaders uh, to uh, uh, open negotiation, and uh, and uh, and that that's that's all that that uh, attempt had been made. When you say open negotiation, means what you renegotiating? That, yes, they're trying to get in touch with DAP. Mm. Uh, you see, you see, the the, the whole thing is this: uh, DAP had announced their their, their seats twenty nine, twenty nine early on, mm. and in fact, uh, people ask me uh, whether. Uh, 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 you agree to this whole thing, and then uh, uh, is that uh, what had been agreed? I said, I uh, really, I, uh, I honestly, I said, I don't know about all this. Mm. And uh, of course, uh, there's some uh, uh, um, information eventually that indication that we had uh, received uh, that uh, what we had uh, 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 asked for and what we recommended to be uh, ours uh, appears not to have been uh, followed. And that's the reason why I made a statement earlier on, on uh, our uh, oh, veto powers. Veto powers. Mm. Uh, so since then, uh, uh, as I've said, uh, uh, on our part, we have not made any uh, uh, contact then. Uh, uh, Kuala Lumpur and our national leaders tried their very best uh, to contact over the other side. So in that sense, uh, uh, there was no change, in fact, uh, mm. even after... I said that one or two uh, seats uh, are still left uh, overlapping. Mm. Uh, so uh, I think it was uh, still as it were. Mm. The status quo remains. S5, you mean? S5. In fact, now I found out there's another one. Six. Uh, it uh, appears to be six. Okay. So what you're saying is uh, these six seats which uh, DAP is putting candidates in mm. rightfully belongs to PKR? Uh, well, use the word rightfully. Uh, the AP may not agree with that, mm. uh, but what we are saying is that really we had been working uh, in those uh, six areas for the last one and a half years. And I've said earlier on mm. because we had already identified candidates, mm. we had challenges that had been on the ground for the last one and a half uh, uh, years, mm. and uh, KPI issues had been uh, received from them, mm. and uh, and therefore we are uh, prepared in that sense. Mm. Uh, of course, there are uh, a few areas where, uh, uh, not all, but a uh, uh, few of the areas uh, where uh, uh, some of our leaders went with JP. And uh, and these are the areas that JP are trying to uh, give uh, to their uh, the leaders that ke came out of us. Mm. And that happens only, um, uh, well, a few months ago. Mm. So we feel that that is not right. And that's the reason why we put... Uh, a very strong uh, stand on those areas. Mm. Uh, that's the uh, really that's the very basis of it. Uh, uh, really, that we are not trying to be difficult, mm. but we're trying to say that look, mm. we have been the uh, Marcellia, and we think that we are uh, uh, well, is a winnable candidate. Mm. And in fact, we found out too that uh, there are uh, 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 findings to say that uh, we were ahead. That's the chance of winning, yeah. Yes, that's right. Mm. Okay, maybe um, Chong Jen Jen. Mm the DAP head of uh, Sarawak. Um, he, he's been quite critical of uh, some of your stats okay. right now. Um, <laughs> we, we like to know why. Okay? okay. Now, 
but having said that, is DAP and PKR united right, in facing the coming state election? Well, uh, you know, crit- criticism in politics is very normal. Um, uh, well, in, even in person national, you, you, you notice that uh, 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 Professor Tim criticized the way they, they, they handle the whole thing, even Tim Nister and uh, Milton Fu just made a very, uh, you know, uh, uh, vocal stand uh, mm. as well. Mm. Uh, so uh, it's the same with opposition. Mm. Uh, I think uh, uh, that's normal. Uh, you don't need to agree to a lot of things as long as you agree to disagree. Mm. And this is one of the things that we find in Pakatan, uh, the democratic rights, the freedom to air your views. Uh, well, having said that, uh, uh, the, the, the fact is still uh, this, that we are in the position. We are still in the Pakatan uh, Harapan mm. uh, coalition. And because of that, uh, uh, by all means, mm. uh, people like me, and the leaders of PKR would like to ensure that we would be stronger by the day. Mm. But uh, at the same time, we would like to uh, uh, to know too uh, uh, what is what is your opinion on this uh, matter. Mm. And at the same time, we would like to make a very strong stand on this certain matters that we believe that we are right. Mm. So to me, uh, that is normal reporting. But at the end of the day, the main picture and the main focus and to understand our, uh, our, our, our enemy is very, very important. Mm. And I think here, uh, the real enemy is Persian Nestor. Mm. So, uh, in a sense, and in one sense, I think uh, uh, we're just uh, uh, being open, uh, democratically uh, free to criticize mm. and air our views. And uh, we do hope that uh, uh, voters on the ground uh, uh, may not be demoralized and say that just because of one criticism that they say that we are united and that we are not uh, together mm. uh, at the end of the day. The main areas, for example, even you look at the, the seats that we we, we uh, are standing in, uh, I think in the main areas where, where we are really strong and uh, confident winning, uh, we don't go and simply uh, uh, stand there. Into the area. In, in so we recognize that as well. Mm-hmm. So uh, let us just say that uh, well, we have that uh, uh, freedom to, uh, we agree to disagree. Mm. You see, the reason why I ask you in terms of him uh, being very critical of uh, some of your stance, I recall um, an article, a newspaper article in uh, 2014, mm. um, when the Pakatan Raya was uh, dissolved in Sarawak, mm. right, announced by Tong Den Den, right? And uh, you also had that issue of hudud yes, during sir. that time, you know, and uh, the arrangements that uh, had been agreed upon mm. by PKR and uh, PAS and uh, DAP, you know. Uh, you issued a very strong statement to Tong Jen Jen, you know, mm. whether he's uh, suffering from amnesia. <laughs> 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 you know, so uh, with what has been happening today in the current uh, Situation, you know, in terms of the AP wanting to take more seats, uh, I'm sure you are not uh, under the impression that he has not recovered from this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, now when we one Aziza issued a statement uh, yeah. yesterday, all right, that she's going to be announcing uh, all the forty candidates for PKR. Uh, assumingly, she will be coming to Kuching to yes. make the announcement. Uh, my question to you is this: How many? of the candidates that you have chosen are in this list that's going to be announced by one Aziza. Is there a change or status quo? Well, at the moment, I'm not able to uh, really uh, uh, tell you that uh, what we have recommended uh, are all in. Uh, 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 we have recommended uh, all the challenge that we have uh, put in the 40 seats mm. uh, to uh, the president. And uh, uh, we must also realize that the president of the party uh, has the uh, discretion uh, to make a decision on that. So uh, I cannot be very certain with the 100% of the name that we propose are in the list or not, but uh, uh, I'm very certain that most of the names should be there. What would be the comfortable percentage of uh, the candidates in the list that would make you feel comfortable, the ones that you have chosen? 
Uh, well, I uh, uh, really the, the the best scenario, of course, is that the hundred hundred percent or the forty uh, candidate should be a uh, baby in. Mm. Uh, uh, failing which, of course, we would be uh, disappointed mm. uh, because uh, we had made our stand. Mm. Uh, we uh, want to really uh, show to our uh, leaders in Kuala Lumpur that. Uh, uh, the the uniqueness of the status of Sarawak uh, in, uh, uh, in 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 the federation, uh, we have uh, even mentioned these autonomous rights to our Kuala Lumpur leaders, and they seem to understand this. Mm -hmm. And uh, in fact, they have given us that kind of uh, uh, autonomy uh, uh, for Sabah Sarawak. Mm -hmm. And because of that uh, uh, understanding, I really hope. Uh, even Madam President and uh, our people in Kuala Lumpur would uh, appreciate our strong uh, stand uh, in ensuring that what we uh, recommended would be approved by them. I sincerely hope that uh, I would probably think that you have uh, uh, shaken the central leadership, <laughs> you know, with your wanting to exercise this, your, your veto. Oh, that would be very happy. I know that would be very happy. <laughs> Coming back to this uh, NCR mm. thing, uh, maybe, um, it has been noted that you have uh, always insisted in NCR cases, okay, that uh, uh, be given to rightful owners, mm. all right, uh, based on Section 18 and not Section 6 of the Sarawak Land Ordinance. Why is that? Thank you. Uh, that I can have this opportunity to explain further. Mm. Now, what happened is this. Section 6 of the Land Code allows the government to uh, uh, gazette an area of land uh, uh, to be given to a community or a village or a kampong. And they call it normally a, a com communal reserve land. Mm. Now, uh, under that Section 6, that land could be a state land. It could be even a native customary land. It mm. could be, mm. I'm saying. But because it's, it is created under Section 6, it is not automatically deemed to be a native customary land. Now, in my experience in dealing with these cases, all the cases where the land had already been gazetted as a commun communal land under Section 6, once the government get into that area to acquire rights, to extinguish the right, to for public purpose, we call it, to be roads, for example, then the natives who work on that land, affected by the road, affected by the project, would not be able to be compensated their NCR land. They claim NCR, but the government says no. There is no NCR land. A very good classic case is Kakus. Mm. And I was there just before uh, 2013 election. We went there and I, 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 I know for a fact that the area had been given by the government in the 1960s. They moved there, the, the, the Kenya Padang, and they were given an area under 66 as well. Mm. And when the government constructed a road from the village to a logging uh, a road, about 18 kilometers, then they were asked to claim NCR. And that's the process. You must uh, uh, gazette, uh, 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 what do you call it, this, a declaration that you want to take that land under Section 5, Clause 3 and 4 of the Land Code, and publish it in the newspaper. Mm -hmm. Then everybody would know that the government wants to take that for its purpose. So they fill in the form, call it Form E. And when the reply came, all were rejected. They said there was no such thing as NCR land. It's all state land. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm, I'm saying this because this is our experience. Then why, question that is this, why do you survey it at the season 6? When you can, in fact, right away, survey it at the season 18. Because section 18 is very clear. Where a claimant or a native had been living and residing on a piece of land mm. for many years, and, and it amounts to ownership, that's the word used, amount of ownership. Uh, of course, it must be there before 1958. Then he can ask for a title to be issued under Section 18. Mm. 
and that will be deep a uh, native customer land and you don't need to pay any premium uh, premium or, or, or rate whatsoever it's free in perpetuity mm. now that is different from section section 6 so mm. section 6 just a uh, perimeter survey they call it and they give it under the name of the kota kampo mm. the headman of the village which has no commercial value but once you give it under section 18 it is a title a valid title free of any rent assessment perpetuity forever mm. this person can go and charge it to the bank, the, the bank if he wants to mm. so that's the difference so i'm saying why would you waste your 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 time and the money to survey it under 66 might as well survey it immediately under 18 the barisan national has been the government since the last state elections mm. until over a period of five years. Mm. Uh, in your mind, maybe, um, has Parisa National performed over the last five years prior to the dissolution of the two? I don't think so. Uh, they're just maintaining. I want to show you one, uh, one more video over here, uh, maybe, and probably you would like to... Uh, uh, comment on what uh, Adenan Satam had said yesterday. We will now turn our guns on the opposition instead of one another. Okay? Right. He has mentioned that uh, Barisan National will now turn their guns on to the opposition. What do you say to that, uh, Vavi? Well, I, I think that's very natural. In an election, uh, I mean, you, you had to turn your guns to the opposition. Uh, but of course, why he said that? Uh, if you look at the uh, reverse uh, statement, I think probably all this while they had been turning the guns on themselves, you know? Uh, well, I'm not surprised at that. I think uh, what he's saying that after all these uh, squabbles, the internal squabbles within uh, uh, UPP, SUPP, Trust, and SPDP, I think uh, uh, perhaps he is referring to that. Now they are uh, now focused and uh, uh, training the guns on us. Uh, we, of course, uh, do expect that to happen. Well, thank you very much, uh, YB Barobian. Uh, we wish you all the best in the coming uh, 11 state election in Sarawak. Um, I also like to thank you for your time in uh, being able to be in this talk show of mine. Thank you very much. Thank you. Privilege. Um, that was uh, Yang Bohormat uh, Barubian, the assemblyman for Bakalalan, as well as the state PKR chief of Sarawak. With that, we end this uh, spectrum here and uh, stay tuned with airtime with Ron Castle. Thank you very much. Goodbye, ladies. That's very good. <laughs>